When we started Breaking Bad last season, it, it, it was a show, you know, and remains a show about a guy who, for, for money reasons, financial reasons, cooks crystal meth, you know, to, to make money for his family. And, and at that time, the show went on the air. The economy is not in the trouble that it's in now. And, you know, I, I think now with the economy being as, unfortunately, as bad as it is for ordinary Americans, more and more people can, can sympathize with Walt, not, not think he's making a good decision, you know, but but can understand why he does what he does, and you know, unfortunately, it, that that impetus to to cook crystal meth for money becomes more uh, understandable. Money's always tight in basic cable, uh, usually tight, and we're working with AMC, who's a wonderful network, but uh, we're only their second uh, scripted show, and uh, therefore they're sort of finding their way in the uh, um, uh, with the you know, it, it's a, it's a tricky. Uh, business model when you're just starting off and to their credit they they are wonderful wonderfully uh, uh, there's wonderful largesse on their part uh, they, they we have quite a good budget quite a healthy budget by cable standards but yeah money is always tight in television yeah, I suppose it's the same story on a big show like ER at a certain point you want to do more than you're able to do with the money that you have because you're ambitious as a, as a television producer so money is always tight it probably uh, is trending tighter, unfortunately, with the economy being as bad as it is. And we've had a few moments this past season, season two, where we uh, were told we didn't have the money to do something or other. But, you know, it's, it's kind of a challenge. It's kind of a creative challenge. You make do with what you have, and sometimes what you have turns out to be better than what you would have had if you had the money to do it the way you initially intended. I'm hoping we go uh, 15 to 18 seasons. Uh, I'm hoping Gunsmoke was, I think, 22, 24. I think you know, we're going to try to beat Gunsmoke. It's going to be the longest uh, case of uh, terminal cancer anyone's ever seen. Now, in all honesty, I don't. It's it's we're sort of finding our way as we go, and uh, you know, as in real life, a uh, case of cancer, lung cancer, such as Walt is suffering from, can can possibly go into remission, or it can unfortunately take a person's life very quickly. And and with the it, it, it's 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 such a it's such an unknown. There's so many variables involved, but I, I'd like to see my personal own, you know, hope, not anyone else's opinion, but mine. I'd love to see this show go at least a couple more seasons because I'm having personally so much fun doing it and I'm working with such wonderful people, Brian Cranston and the best cast in TV, in my opinion, and I just I want to keep it going. I don't think the show exists after, after Walt is gone, so I think if there's a way to do that, I haven't figured it out. I haven't honestly given it much thought. I mean, I, to me, if Walt dies, the show dies. So I want to keep them around just as long as we can. And part of the process, part of what we do is we, we our show takes place over a very finite amount of time, a very shortened amount of time. Walt does a lot of living, in other words, in a very short amount of time. So, uh, you know, we're, we're at the end of season two, and I think we're only, uh, I don't want to, nail it down too much for the audience, but I, we're, only, we're only a finite number of months into our story, you know. It hasn't been, in other words, the two years that we've been shooting.